Hey, welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. I'm Scott Huntsman in my two next shop here in South Jordan. This is what's new this week. What's new is this 1956 Chevrolet pickup. We're doing a laundry list of modifications and repairs to this to make it its all time best. So one of the modifications I'm going to do is replace the Holly four barrel carburetor that's on this engine with this Edelbrock 625 CFM. This is a single piece body carburetor that works so much better than the Holly on the street application. The Holly carb is good for racing. Trust me, I like Holly carburetors as well, but this is the best for a street rod on the street. First thing I'm going to do is go inside of it. I'm gonna calibrate it for our altitude. Let's get started with that. All right, guys, so I've got this brand new carburetor on the bench here and I've disassembled it to get access to the key components inside of this. Now again, this carburetor out of the box comes calibrated to operate at sea level conditions. Sea level conditions give us the best atmospheric pressure that we have. Remember, since we're up at this altitude, we have a lot less air available. Therefore, we have to prepare the carburetor for less fuel to mix with it. And there's ways that I do that. These tiny jets are the orifice that controls the amount of fuel that will be allowed into the engine. So reducing the size of the main jet leans the mixture just slightly, and I have a great recipe for these. The other thing that's wonderful is the fact that it uses this secondary air valve, and I've notched a little bit of weight off of the counterweights. I'm gonna make these changes inside, as well as a little float level change and this is gonna be a nice recipe for how this carburetor is going to work for us. One last thing as I go together with this carburetor, I have everything assembled. The final fuel setting is in this metering rod. That is available to change right from the top of the carburetor. As well, this metering rod spring reacts to engine vacuum. This is important for tuning, but what's really cool about this with the Edelbrock design and the AFB design is that they're accessible right under this little door, which can then be uh, just tightened down. So while the, the carburetor is on the engine, I don't have to disassemble anything to make fine-tuned adjustments with their fuel mixture on the primary side of the carburetor. It's really cool, and it's a great feature that they included with this. Okay, so I've got everything unbolted and I'm gonna take this carburetor off. Now, this is a fairly simple conversion because the mounting flange is known as a 4100 square flange. Both the Holly and the Edelbrock both utilize that same flange. Anytime I take the carburetor off, first step, throw a rag over the open hole. Okay guys, last step was installing on the engine and this part is important. Brand new gasket, a clean flange to mount it on, 14 foot-pounds for the torque of the carburetor, it is aluminum, adjustments to the throttle cable to make sure we have full throttle, slack at idle. We have the vacuum advance connected to the ported vacuum port, that's important. With that in mind, I'm ready to start it and run them. There's only one more thing that happens from here. That's a road test, very important. Now, here's the problem we have today. It's a snow day. I'm gonna have to wait till the roads dry off before I drive this beauty. I'm not gonna take it out on the salt, never would even consider it. Just the same, it'll be ready. My road test will be perfect. Now, this little Edelbrock carburetor, we sell these, we install them, we calibrate them here at Tunex. We do a lot of that on Classic, performance and pro street type cars. We're happy to do it. If you have questions, hey, give us a call. We can help you out with that. I'm Scott Huntsman. More at your leisure in a moment.